What's up? I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever, and I know I skipped last week, and I'll explain why in a second. First off, I think Katie just volunteered to do the um, intro for the for next week, so hopefully we'll have that up and I can get back to actually editing these videos and making it seem like I care again. So anyways, this week's topic is banned books, and I have actually found out from somebody on Twitter who said it was banned books week and that they were reading Looking for Alaska. To which I said, why not read Looking for Alaska? And I did the same. I'm about halfway through it. I know it ended last week, but I've just been sort of busy. And I mean, like, college is different, but it's not like the bad sort of different. It's like the, it's an improvement from high school sort of different. And for anybody, like, I can say in my first month here that this has been absolutely better than any day I've ever had in high school like seriously like my senior year was the best senior year I could have ever hoped for minus my course teacher being a mega bitch anyways but yeah like college is a, it's a better different and I like it a lot so yeah so I missed last week and I missed it because YouTube was on the fritz and every time I tried, like I did an iPhone video, and every time I tried to upload it to YouTube, it wouldn't work. So I just sort of gave up on it, and then like my roommate and I redid our room right after I filmed the video. Like we rearranged everything. So I was like, well, this is sort of lame now. So I think I'm going to put it into my next video, I think. And like, because I'll be editing and stuff again, hopefully. Um... It'll just make for a better video. Yeah. Hope that's not my roommate. She doesn't know that I YouTube yet, and I think it's, it would be weird if she, like, found out. Yeah. <laughs> like, like it's sort of like a coming out YouTube style. Like, how do, you, how do you tell the person that you're living with that you make videos on the internet with people you've never met? Like, that's, like, a weird concept. But anyways, getting back to man books. Sorry, I'm, like, rambling today. Because, like, I just, I need to, like, let go of everything. Back to the back to the point about fan books I don't really feel like there is a group big enough or knowledgeable enough to really state that books should be banned I mean no one group in the entire world can just state that books are banned I mean what constitutes a banned book bad language well I mean that's that's not yeah like uh I feel like I'm rambling, but um, Katie made a good point, and I say this a lot for playwrights, too, because I'm a drama person. You don't ever, ever edit a script because playwrights pick and choose. It's the same with poetry. Poetry is the same exact way. It may be totally funky and not make sense, but the playwright put those words in there for a reason because they wanted you to say them, because they have a point behind what you're saying. So putting that into a book. John Green put in the pornographic sex scene in Looking for Alaska for a reason. And I mean, if people want to look at it as just pornographic sex scene, whatever, but if people want to look at it as like the loss of innocence and stuff, yeah. That's what I always looked at it as. What do you guys look at it as? Because I'm like, I don't know how to interpret it really other than like the sort of loss of innocence and um, in Pudge's sort of, it's like his ultimate transition into the group, whereas before he was just iffy, but now he's like really, really into it. Like he has lost everything that he held as a moral standard before, and it's just really nice. I really like it. But anyways, um, yeah, so there's been a ton of stuff going on, and actually I think after this I'm going to film a vlog because I really, really like doing this, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do that. Okay, I love you guys. <laughs> So I haven't been around a lot. This is really long now. Bye.